Hey guys, this is Iqbal and as we know that biology is the study of uh, living things and all are uh, living organisms and as we know that, know that all living things have uh, some basic characteristics uh, which which describe them as the living things and mainly these are those seven basic characteristics of life if we have a look into those like movement respiration sensitivity growth reproduction excretion and nutrition to remember these uh, seven basic characteristics of life we develop a mnemonic called as uh, mrs gran so if we remember in that way that uh, uh, as a mrs gran mean uh, where m stands for uh, movement r for respiration as for sensitivity g for growth r for uh, reproduction e for excretion and n for nutrition so let's have a look into one by one a simple definition of each uh, basic characteristics of life or we also call them as the processes of life or the process life processes and uh, movement is uh, uh, organisms are the part of the organisms move to change its position respiration is uh, breaking down food to get energy sensitivity uh, it's the ability it's the ability to detect a stimuli and respond to that and uh, we call growth as the increase in dry mass of an organism uh, that growth may be in the number of cells or that may be in the size of a cell and uh, reproduction is generally we we call it as to make a new individual uh, and there are two types of reproduction sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction uh, for a sexual reproduction two parents are required while asexual reproduction only one parent will be required excretion is the removal of metabolic waste and uh, to know what is a metabolic waste mean any waste which is reproduced as a result of chemical reactions in the body will be called as metabolic waste and in that case uh, and then nutrition nutrition is the process of taking food for the sake of energy so to go to and to remember these uh, all these names that basically we we need to learn two main part main things for the process f- to remember these characteristics especially two things to know one we should be knowing all these seven characteristics and then to we should be able to describe all these characteristics and especially to for the sake of remembrance uh, better remember mrs gren or develop a mnemonic which you feel that you can learn in a better way i have put all these information for this chapter 1 in one google slide so here is the link for this google slide you can go and uh, access the whole google slide for you